Uh, Deputy Patrick and Deputy McGrath. Yeah. Uh, well, Ciarán Corla, I've commended your initiative in establishing the Task Force on Safe Participation in Political Life, and I'm delighted to be a member. But in advance of our meeting on Thursday, I want to raise in this House the need for us as public representatives to promote civil and respectful debate and indeed to show leadership in these houses. And, you know, unfortunately, in recent weeks, we've seen some really awful examples in this chamber and on social media of public representatives really pushing boundaries of respectful political discourse. And I'm thinking in particular of a debate on agriculture in the last sitting week when certain members even questioned the right of a junior minister to be in the House. And I think that's the sort of behaviour that isn't conducive to encouraging safe and respectful and dignified debate in these houses. So I'm asking Can Corley in advance of our meeting on Thursday of the task force, which are very much welcome, that you'd remind Oireachtas members of our obligation to show leadership in, in promoting civil and respectful discourse in this House and in political debate generally. Thank you. Thank you Deputy, Deputy McGrath. I heard something very important to raise, uh, Count Holder, but I think I couldn't allow that attack on our independence and our right to be here and represent our people and our views. And we didn't wait till Deputy Patrick got elected in a by-election recently to come here and tell us how to run our business and how to be respectful and how to be mannerly. And it's, not, it's all one-way traffic here, as far as I can see. And if you have an Ontarian vice or contrarian vice or opinion, you're not allowed to talk at all, whether it be in rural Ireland, whether it be on immigration, whether it be on many other issues that affect us. And I take no lecture from Deputy Batchik. She's She'll be gone like the last leader, quicker than we even it gets dark. That's what happens with the Labour Party. The, as founded in Conrad, a proud party that represented rural Ireland and the people of Tipperary. And now what is it? Language and, and the dog drums. We won't take any lectures like that. T-shirt, please. Uh, thanks very much, Ken Corla. And um, just at, at the outset, I, I want to concur with um, Deputy Batchick's remarks uh, earlier. Um, I think I heard Deputy Berry speaking uh, on the radio the other day, and he made a point that I think was very, very valid, uh, that those of us in politics uh, often complain about um, the quality of discourse and abuse and, and social media abuse and all of those things, uh, but sometimes we're our own worst enemies, uh, and we set the standard in the way that we behave. Uh, and none of us are angels in that regard, um, but I think, uh, given what Deputy Batchik has said, uh, we should all resor resolve uh, to uh, conduct our business uh, in a more parliamentary manner, uh, in a way that we used to in the past, and I think has deteriorated considerably uh, in the 20 years uh, that I've been here, or the almost 20 years um, that, 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 I, that I've been here. 